to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came into the world to bring life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the promise of eternal peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting love. Amen. Amen.
O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of Blessed Virgin Mary prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by the virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the flavor of his will. For the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Virgin Mary, we're reminded of the same words that we received during the first Sunday of Advent, to be watchful, to watch for the Lord. And for us, it is watching for the Lord, which we do during this season, but it's also to be watchful, as in be careful with what we do in the world. For we have been saved by our Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross, but our salvation is very similar to being saved at that moment, where somebody would fall into a pit or fall into a place where there's mud, a puddle, a person can be saved where another one would catch them where they say, I'm catching you so that you don't fall into that hole. I'm catching you so that you don't fall into that puddle. 
but we too need to be watchful like our Blessed Mother, who was saved by her son in a different way. One would say to her, be careful, there is a muddle, there's a puddle, excuse me, there's a puddle of mud right before you, go a different way. Or be careful that there is a hole in the ground that you might fall into, go a different way. For us, it is that mindset of being told in that great way of virtue to avoid those ways of sin in our lives. So that we, as the Our Father reminds us, that we are not led into temptation, but delivered from evil. That we have that opportunity to be watchful, and watchful for those things that might lead us into danger. One of the ways of thinking about this in another way that was helpful for me was to say that the way that our Blessed Mother was saved is the way of the mother, where the mother would remind the children to do certain things so that they might be saved. To say, look both ways before you cross the street, do not jump on the bed because you might fall, do this thing or that thing, where our Blessed Mother was listening to those words and was watchful through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the other way is saving through that way of the Father, that a father would be there to catch the child as they're about to walk into oncoming traffic or be able to catch them before they fall from the bed or as they jump up and are about to hit the ground, they will be able to be caught. But for us, that way is very dangerous because we are put into that place of temptation and at times, yes, through the great grace of God, we are able to say no. But it's much easier to not go down that road so that temptation may not envelop us, so that temptation might not rear its head, so that as we practice that way of virtue over and over again, we are truly watchful. Once more, we look to the Virgin Mary as our patron, our patron of the United States of America, because we want to be watchful for that way of protection, watchful so that the United States is kept safe, but also watchful for the world, so that the world too might be in that way of safety, that we're able to, again, have that great prevenient grace, that preventing grace in our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to follow the example and ask for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we might be continuously watchful in our lives, that we might continually know those great dangers that are before us, and through the great grace of God, choose the best path to avoid them. And when we are in danger, let us also pray to the Lord that we might be kept safe from those temptations, kept safe from those dangers that we might face that we might be protected by the Lord in those times, so that when we are about to fall, the Lord will catch us, and our Blessed Mother will prevent us from going down that road through the great grace of God each and every day of our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, let us offer our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, and substantial to the Father. Through him all things remain. For us then, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And the God of the Holy Spirit was in the heart of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the last child. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is he is the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, and the Lord of life, who proceeds from my eyes and Son, who with the Father and the Son is glory and glorified, who has spoken to the gods. I believe in one holy Catholic Catholic Church. I confess to my baptism the Lord gives us his sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come.
My dear sisters and brothers, God has graced us with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, and so we know to whom we can happily turn with our every need. For the Holy Church, that she may grow towards the perfection of Mary, our destiny and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves, that she who is full of grace may help us on our earthly pilgrimage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an end to wars in our world, that through prayer and penance we may enter an age of peace the triumph of Mary's heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, that the great physician would bring physical and spiritual hearing. Healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and all the souls of the faithful departed, that they may live forever in the joy of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions in the prayer request at the Mother of Mother Shrine, and for Lorraine Kowitkowski, the intentions of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you chose our mother Mary to be unstained by sin in anticipation of bearing your son. You have chosen us to be your children. Cleanse us of all sin and grant that prayers we make and grant the prayers we make through the one whose coming we anticipate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the living sacrifice for which we which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your provenient grace to be in touch by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the blessed, most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. Mm -hmm. By the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and each of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Therefore, O Lord, as we 
celebrate a memorial that's saving passion their son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your lives, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all of the saints, on whose constant intercession your presence we rely for unfailing hope. May the sacrifice of reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your proven church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing for this life, give kind and minutes to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow so on this world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live in heaven forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other to the side of Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you shall enter out of my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds that are fault, from which, in a senior way, you preserve Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Child bearing the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you've been found worthy to receive the offer of life. Amen. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is over. Thanks be to God. God.